two weeks before he defends his WWE Championship against Kevin Owens at King of the Ring. Matt Riddle is set for a main event affair against the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, one-on-one -on -one later tonight on Raw. Plus, kicking off in moments, the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring as Seth freaking Rollins battles Cedric Alexander. And also coming up later tonight in the other quarterfinal bout, it is the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, versus the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, who is heading to the semifinals in Philadelphia. We will find out later tonight on Raw. We are live from the MVP Arena in Albany, New York, just seven nights before we head to New York City in Madison Square Garden for Monday Night Raw Homecoming. It is time to kick off the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring. And this man, Seth freaking Rollins, certainly wasn't afraid to get his hands dirty seven nights ago against the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. We're going to take a look back at what transpired in moments, but it is time to kick off the quarterfinals in this prestigious tournament. Is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! I want to take you back to last week in the main event. It was Seth Rollins taking on Sheamus. It was certainly a grudge match in the midst of the King of the Ring. And after Rollins finally defeated Sheamus after a grueling battle, taking things to the next level and certainly rubbing salt in the wounds of the Celtic Warrior, an ambush at ringside with a steel chair, and then watch this, a curb stomp right on the floor. God only knows the injuries that were suffered last week to Sheamus at the hands of that man right there, Seth freaking Rollins. I'm sure Rollins thought Sheamus had that coming for several weeks. A lot of history between those two men, but Rollins has got to focus on the matter at hand. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander ready to compete in the biggest match of his career. Let's take a look at how these four men got their way to tonight. Alexander defeating Tommaso Ciampa, Rollins defeating Sheamus, Tyler Bate tapping out Sami Zayn, and Shinsuke Nakamura taking down LA Knight two weeks ago here on Raw. So the quarterfinals are set. As we all know, the semifinals and finals of the King of the Ring Tournament will take place live Sunday night, June the 18th, Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. And we will find out who's going to compete in the semifinals right here tonight in Albany on Raw. Biggest match of Cedric Alexander's career as we have watched him write a new chapter in his career over the last couple of months here on Raw. Former Cruiserweight Champion, former Tag Team Champion, but Alexander's looking for the crown of the king. And of course, we know what is also at stake. The winner of the King of the Ring Tournament will punch their ticket to August at SummerSlam to challenge for their brand's world championship. If a member of Monday Night Raw wins this tournament, they will challenge for the WWE title. Friday Night SmackDown winner, they will challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. All remains to be seen on Sunday night, June the 18th. But nonetheless, this matchup right here kicking off the quarterfinals. This Friday night on SmackDown, we will see Austin Theory battle Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles take on Randy Orton to see who makes their way on behalf of the Blue Brand to Philadelphia. It's going to be a great night of action here on Monday Night Raw. Alexander and Rollins kicking things off. Tyler Bate, one-on-one -on -one with Shinsuke Nakamura. Still to come. And then what a main event we have signed as the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross. You know, talk about getting your hands dirty. We'll talk more about Karrion Cross and his recent actions later tonight. But he goes one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, Matt Riddle in the main event. As Rollins takes the fight to Cedric Alexander. This is coming just seven nights after Rollins defeated Sheamus, and credit where credit's due, a earned victory by the Monday Night Messiah, but it was really after the matchup that really put a sour note, if you will, on Seth Rollins and his victory. It was that same exact kick that took down Sheamus last week. Will it do it to Alexander tonight? Not just yet. Still early on in the contest, though. A bit of a different story here tonight in Albany. Of course, Rollins and Sheamus... And a lot more bad blood heading into their first round match in the King of the Ring tournament last week. 
It all stemmed from a battle here on Raw a few months a few months ago, excuse me, which was a number one contender's backlash qualifying matchup that Sheamus ended up winning, and Seth Rollins certainly has not forgotten about it. Saw that six-man tag team match back on May 14th at Vengeance. The brawling Bruce defeating Seth Rollins in Judgment Day. So last week, Rollins was really looking to not only advance in the King of the Ring, but get those victories back over Sheamus. Alexander on the outside, and Rollins taking things in the air. Cedric Alexander has utilized his high-flying ability throughout this tournament thus far. Seth Rollins not afraid to do the same. Rollins has already had a decorated career here in WWE, former multiple-time world champion, Money in the Bank Royal Rumble match winner. Just imagine if Seth adds the, t adds the title of the King of the Ring to that Hall of Fame list of accolades. Because Rollins going for a knee off the apron. Alexander able to sidestep it. Now Cedric will look to take advantage of that misstep. Could we be living in the age of Alexander? Biggest matchup of Cedric Alexander's career tonight. Former Cruiserweight champion, former tag team champion. But just imagine if Cedric can make his way to Philadelphia and the king of the ring. Rollins just raking the eyes of Alexander right now. Trying to ensure that Seth freaking Rollins will be... Competing in the semi-final matchup on behalf of Monday Night Raw. We head to the Wells Fargo Center live Sunday night, June the 18th. Live premiere event, a part of the biggest week in Universe Mode history. 5 p.m. Eastern time. And it's going to be an epic night in Philly. Oh, Rollins delivering the knee to Alexander. And the close fist shots. Seth Rollins got to stay focused here. Got that big time win last week, but are some of those recent losses still creeping into the psyche, if you will, of Seth Rollins? As for Alexander, we have seen him pick up steam on Monday Night Raw over the last couple of months. Some wins here, some losses here, but it seems like every time Rollins, or excuse me, Cedric Alexander exits that ring, he is exiting a better athlete, a better competitor. There's the reason he has made his way to the quarterfinals of the King of the Ring here tonight. Hard-fought victory over Tommaso Ciampa a few weeks ago. Now Alexander, face plant to Rollins. Right off the canvas. And Alexander not done just yet. Going for the dose. Seth Rollins hits the canvas again. And now Cedric starting to pick up some momentum in your opening contest. Could be going for that Spanish fly. I believe Rollins is able to outrun it there. Alexander, a little bit of a misstep, but trying to make up for it. Stack it up, Rollins, and a knee right to the rib cage. Just imagine if Alexander can punch his way to the semifinals and take on either Tyler Bate or Shinsuke Nakamura. We will find out that winner later on this evening here in Albany, New York. A nice counter there by Rollins. May not like the attitude of Seth. Certainly may not like the actions of Seth Rollins, especially after last week's assault on Sheamus. But nonetheless, Rollins is a decorated competitor inside of that ring and we take nothing away from his in-ring abilities. Another knee right to Alexander and Cedric has gotta be rocked right now as Rollins is heading to the top rope, looking to end this matchup in a hurry, dropping the elbow on the spine of Alexander. And will that do it? Only a two count there. Alexander able to pop the shoulder off the canvas. Seth Rollins coming off the top, throwing caution in the wind. Now Alexander broken, beaten inside of the squared circle. And Rollins just bringing him right back down to earth with a couple of more stomps. Seth Rollins delivers a curb stomp in this matchup the same way he did to Sheamus on the outskirts of the ring last week. Rollins is going to have a first class ticket to Philadelphia. Meanwhile, heading to the top rope, delivers another elbow to the heart. And he may have just crushed the dreams of Cedric Alexander, but Alexander survives again. And Seth has got to stay focused here. Rollins starting to get a little fired up, cannot put Cedric Alexander away just yet in your opening contest tonight. And Alexander trying to take advantage of the frustrations of his opponent. Whips them all, finally hits the Spanish fly. Third time's a charm. Dead center of the ring. Almost had Rollins there, but Seth survived. 
Rollins rolling to the outside, trying to duck for cover, but here comes Cedric. Over the top, taking down the visionary. Cedric Alexander wants to see his name in the lights, wants to wear the crown of the king. And Rollins has no idea what hit him right now. Alexander taking down Rollins off that arm drag. Cedric Chart starting to build some momentum in this matchup. He's got to keep the foot on the gas pedal in order to keep Seth Rollins down. And look at this, armbar locked in. Cedric re reaching deep down in the bag of tricks, trying to throw off Seth Rollins' game plan tonight. Rollins is hurting. I don't know if, oh, wait a minute, there's a counter. And Seth Rollins trying to get out of the submission hold. A couple of closed fists will aid him in doing so. Oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins strikes when the opportunity arises. A pedigree to Cedric Alexander. And that may be all she wrote. Rollins is heading to the semis, not just yet as Alexander survives again. The pedigree does not put the final nail in this matchup. Cedric fighting with all the heart, all the soul, all the intestinal fortitude to move on to the semifinals and try to get one step closer to becoming the 2023 King of the Ring. Alexander is up on his feet on the outside. His eggs have got to be scrambled off that pedigree. And a springboard clothesline. Down goes Rollins. Rollins taking his eye off the ball. Giving Cedric a moment to breathe, and Alexander was able to capitalize. There's a counter by Rollins now. Back and forth we start to go in your opening contest tonight. Rollins with another strike and another Instaguri. Cedric showed some signs of life there, but Seth Rollins, wait a minute. I thought I was about to say Rollins may have this matchup, but Alexander looking to change everybody's mind into the bridge. Oh, and he almost had Seth Rollins. But the visionary pops the shoulder up at 2.9. That was a close call. And Rollins now, off the rolling forearm, has had enough of the mind games. Here comes the stop. Rollins into the cover. And so goes the dreams of Cedric Alexander. Seth freaking Rollins punches his first class ticket to Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia, where he will be one half of the Monday Night Raw semifinal match in the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. Here is your winner, Seth freaking Rollins. Well, it was one hell of a showing out of Cedric Alexander. He survived as long as he could, but the stomp sees Cedric Alexander's hopes and dreams go up in flames. There you see the updated bracket. Rollins is moving on to the 18th, but who is going to meet him there? Tyler Bate versus Shinsuke Nakamura later tonight here on Raw. We're back live in Albany, New York, and we are just seven nights away from the kickoff to the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Next Monday night, it is Raw Homecoming from Madison Square Garden in New York City. We then go to Super SmackDown, live in Washington, D.C., the channel member exclusive live event from the Hammerstein Ballroom. And then all roads lead to Sunday night, June the 18th, in Philadelphia at King of the Ring. You're not going to want to miss a second of the action. Hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on notifications. Do not miss out on three live premiere events coming your way next week. Raw Homecoming, Super SmackDown, and the King of the Ring all at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And don't miss what will be our biggest WWE live event yet. Hit the join button, become a channel member, and don't miss out on what is going to be an extremely exciting night at the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. But here tonight in Albany, Montez Ford has got his hands full with the red brand's hottest young star. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes, the newest acquisition to Monday Night Raw and the newest client to Montel Vontavious Porter, MVP. 
MVP giving Carmelo Hayes a challenge tonight. He was in his corner a few weeks back, but MVP decided he's going to hang back in the VIP lounge and see what Carmelo Hayes can do on his own. MVP is investing in this young talent. He wants to see if Carmelo Hayes can get it done without his insight tonight. Carmelo Hayes has got a bright future here on the red brand. He is a former NXT champion, NXT North American champion, former cruiserweight champion. And now he's got a whole new list, a whole new playing field here on the red brand on Monday Night Raw. A few weeks ago, he defeated Angelo Dawkins in his debut matchup. Now Montez Ford looking to give this thing a crack. And the Street Profits have really been struggling over the last couple of months to build some momentum. A lot of bad luck for Dawkins and Ford. Let's see if Montez Ford can turn things around for the Street Profits tonight. One thing is for sure, the Street Profits always stay up, and they want the smoke. Looking to steal the victory early. Not just yet as Carmelo Hayes gets the shoulder up, but Montez Ford bringing that energy to this matchup. Desperate for victory tonight. As we mentioned, to bring some good mojo to the Street Profits. Taking down Carmelo Hayes and Montez Ford looking good in this matchup. Take nothing away from the Street Profits, decorated tag team champions in their WWE careers, but in the last few months, things have not been going their way. We saw several battles, singles battles and tag team between the Street Profits of the Judgment Day that did not go Dawkins and Ford's way. But there's Montez Ford from the heavens. We're gonna do any means necessary to get that W tonight. Carmelo Hayes has not had an answer. This has been all Montez Ford since the opening bell. Referee trying to gain some composure out of Montez Ford. That man just cost him a pump kick by Carmelo Hayes. This young stud here on the red brand looking to get his second victory since joining Monday Night Raw. And Montez Ford, however, not looking to be a stepping stone in Carmelo's young career. Here comes Carmelo up and over. DDT spiking Montez on his top of his chrome dome there. Carmelo Hayes got all the tools to be a future superstar, future champion here on Monday Night Raw. And as we always talk about, it's about getting the victories inside of that squared circle. And Carmelo Hayes is looking to do just that. Down goes Montez Ford into the cover. And that'll do it. Carmelo Hayes making quick work of the Street Profits, Montez Ford. Tough luck for Dawkins and Ford, but Carmelo Hayes is looking to see his name in the bright lights. Carmelo picking up yet another Here's win. Carmelo Hayes. And we could very well be looking at one of the future superstars in the main event scene here on Monday Night Raw. Carmelo Hayes, back-to-back -back victories over Dawkins and Ford. And this newcomer to Monday Night Raw has certainly been impressive since day one. Do you want access to a bonus universe mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus universe mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a premium pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The action continues tonight on Raw with the Nightmare Rhea Ripley battling the goddess of the women's division, Alexa Bliss, plus the black card of WWE, Tommaso Ciampa back in action against Cameron Grimes. And the results of those contests see Rhea Ripley continuing to build momentum with a win over Alexa Bliss. And Tommaso Ciampa gets a much needed victory after some big time recent losses in his matchup against Cameron Grimes tonight on Raw. One week from tonight, we are live in Madison Square Garden in New York City for Monday Night Raw Homecoming at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And what a night it is going to be in MSG. It is a steel cage grudge match. The franchise John Cena with a score to settle against Sami Zayn. And the added bonus that if Sami Zayn loses this matchup, he will be barred from ringside for the Kevin Owens Matt Riddle affair at King of the Ring. Also coming your way next week, Solo Sokoa, the street champ, has been dominating as of late, and he wants to throw out an open challenge in New York City.
At King of the Ring, Liv Morgan will defend her women's championship against SmackDown Shayna Baszler. Next week, we get a preview as Liv Morgan teams up with Alexa Bliss to battle the number one contender, Shayna Baszler, and the nightmare, Rhea Ripley. Championships are on the line. The Intercontinental Gold is at stake as Ilya Dragunov, the Invincible One, defends his prestigious gold against Apollo Crews. Should be a great battle for the Intercontinental title next week on Raw. And the man who will compete in your main event later tonight is going to be back in action in New York City as he goes one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Certainly a score to settle that we'll discuss later tonight here on Raw, but it is Lashley and Cross next week in Madison Square Garden at Monday Night Raw Homecoming. But as for tonight in Albany, it is time for your second quarterfinal matchup. The big strong boy, Tyler Bate, certainly breaking a couple of brackets when he tapped out Sami Zayn in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Tyler Bate, the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion, now finds himself one step closer to Philadelphia. And now we know the winner of this matchup will battle Seth freaking Rollins in the Monday Night Raw semifinal match at the King of the Ring live premiere event. Of course, the winner of that match will meet the winner of the SmackDown semifinal, which we will find out who will be participating in that match this Friday night on SmackDown. Tyler Bay with a huge opportunity at stake tonight, but certainly a tough challenger awaits. It is a former NXT United Kingdom champion versus a former NXT champion and the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And this man, Shinsuke Nakamura, made his way through the defiant LA Knight to score this victory. I should say to score a victory and make his way to tonight on Raw. Will that momentum ride into the quarterfinals? And will Shinsuke be able to get past the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, tonight in Albany? And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds. Two extraordinary competitors, two hard-hitting competitors inside of this ring. This should be a great wrestling affair in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. Shinsuke Nakamura calling himself the King of Strong Style, where he very well may well wear the crown if he can get to Philadelphia live Sunday night, June the 18th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. It's going to be an awesome week, kicking off seven nights from tonight, the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden, Super Smackdown in the Capital One Arena, Washington, D.C. Of course, the channel member exclusive live event, Hammerstein Ballroom, and then King of the Ring in Philadelphia. Cannot wait to get to next week, but we got to focus in on the action at hand. It is your second of two quarterfinal matches in the King of the Ring Tournament. Nakamura, Tyler Bate, here we go. Who will fight Seth Rollins in Philadelphia? Will it be Nakamura? Will it be the big strong boy? Nakamura going for the kill early with this arm bar. Nakamura and Tyler Bate both with some submission holds in their arsenal. As we mentioned, Tyler tapped out Sami Zayn to punch his ticket to this matchup tonight. And look at the strength out of Tyler Bate off that Saito. Former NXT United Kingdom champion, former NXT UK tag team champion, Tyler Bate looking to secure a spot in Philadelphia at King of the Ring, not just yet. Tyler Bate certainly scoring the biggest win of his main roster WWE career thus far when he tapped out Sami Zayn, but he could certainly up the ante tonight with a victory over Shinsuke Nakamura. Suicide dive will help him do just that. Just imagine if Tyler Bate could make his way to fight Seth Rollins, possibly get through Seth Rollins. Imagine Tyler wearing the crown of the king and fighting for Monday Night Raw's WWE Championship at SummerSlam. All oh, remains to be seen. Off the upper cut in the corner, Nakamura kicks out, but Bate has been a house of fire ever since he turned the tides after the bell rang. 
Made a couple of shots there. Nakamura having none of it. Muscling up Tyler Bate. And Shinsuke Nakamura, they may call Tyler Bate the big strong boy, but Nakamura may be the stronger of the two. All remains to be seen. Shinsuke had been in at odds, if you will, with the defiant LA Knight. For about a month and change here on Monday Night Raw. LA Knight scored the first victory. It would end up being a series of three contests. Nakamura scored a victory in the second. And then the rubber match in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament, which Nakamura, of course, was able to succeed in. Now these two men got to focus in on each other. As Tyler Bate has a nice head scissors takedown, and he follows it up with a simple yet effective suplex. Tyler Bate still so young in his career and has already accomplished so much. But Tyler Bate off the shooting star press wants to accomplish some more and Nakamura having none of it. Shinsuke might have kicked out, but Tyler Bate definitely going to do some damage off Shinsuke with that maneuver. But here comes Nakamura with a hard strike right to the rib cage. And on Nakamura could be going for that Death Valley driver. Tyler Bate trying to get out of things as he does. Reversal, hold for hold, shot for shot. And muscling up Tyler Bate again and hangs him up on the top rope. Decides to keep it simple that time as Tyler Bate is clearly fighting to escape any hold the King of Strong Style has in mind. Nakamura just getting physical with Tyler Bate inside of that ring. He knows the heart of Tyler Bate. Nakamura definitely has respect for his competitor tonight. Certainly isn't going to be a case that we may have saw recently where Sami Zayn, we speculated, may have been underestimating Tyler Bate in that matchup, and Tyler made him pay for it. Nakamura knows how dangerous Bate can be inside of that ring, and he's going to give this young man all he has in the hopes of advancing to the semifinals. Tyler trying to roll to the outside to catch a breather, and Nakamura said otherwise. Wait a minute, here comes Bate knocking Nakamura off the apron. Now, at a standstill, is Tyler Bates smart to not go after Shinsuke there? I like that decision. Take a moment, catch your breath, and try to get back into this matchup, but it's very hard to keep Nakamura down as we are witnessing before our very eyes. There's a signature out of Nakamura, just snapping Tyler Bates off that mid-rope German. Tyler's got to get back into this matchup. Nakamura is starting to pick the big strong boy apart. Nice black hole slam into the cover. Will that do it? And Tyler kicks out and lives to fight another moment. Shinsuke Nakamura one step closer to meeting Seth Rollins, but Tyler Bate wants that spot as well. Only one man can move to Philadelphia. We are going to find out who that's going to be in the midst of combat. Bate off the kick up. Nice shot to Tyler, excuse me, nice shot to Nakamura by Tyler Bate. Snapmare takes him over. Bate starting to build some momentum. Albany starting to rise around the big strong boy. Could Nakamura throw some of his best strikes? There's a reversal there. Shinsuke's got a lot of tools of the trade in that belt. Tyler Bate is finding that out firsthand. Tried to show us some signs of life there, and unfortunately it just wasn't enough as Nakamura is still in this contest. One behind on Tyler Bate, and now ribcage first off the canvas. Nakamura is picking Tyler apart right now. This is not good for Tyler Bate. He's trying to work over the arm right now. Oh, Tyler still showing some signs of life. Cannot count out Bate who takes down Nakamura with the head scissors again. This will absolutely be another upset. And take over the win from Sami Zayn is the biggest victory in Tyler Bates' main roster run thus far. If he can get through Nakamura tonight, there's another counter. Oh, wait a minute, watch your back! Tyler Bates slingshot lariat takes Shinsuke off his feet. And Tyler's heading to the top rope. What has this young man got in mind? Nakamura gonna meet him there. There's a counter. Crossbody into the cover. Tyler Bates going to Philadelphia. Not just yet as Nakamura kicks out. What a great matchup. But look at this. Look at the strength into the bridge. Beautiful maneuver. Nakamura kicked out, but he has got to be feeling that one. 
Landed right on the back of his neck and shoulders. And Tyler Bate keeping the foot on the gas pedal. Big boot. Tyler is rolling in Albany. Nakamura rolling to the outside, trying to duck for cover. Tyler Bate pacing, goes for the crossbody, and he lands it flush. We have got ourselves a matchup. Who is going to fight Seth Rollins in Philadelphia in the semifinals? Will it be Tyler Bate or will it be Shinsuke Nakamura? They'd send Nakamura back into the ring off that fist of flurry, if you will. Bates heading to the top, could be looking for that tilt to whirl. Here he comes, and nobody home. Nobody home, crash and burn for Bait. And Nakamura gets handed the momentum on a silver platter. A rough landing here, and a King Shasa by the King of Strong Style. Tyler Bait is out cold and nakamura is heading to the king of the ring incredible contest between the king of strong style and the big strong boy but only one man can fight seth rollins and we now have our answer it will be shinsuke nakamura heading Here to philly A great contest, nothing to be ashamed of for Tyler Bate. Certainly turned some doubters into believers in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. But Shinsuke Nakamura outlasts the fury of the big strong boy. And it will be Nakamura moving on to fight Seth Rollins on the 18th of June in Philadelphia. There you see it. These two Monday Night Raw superstars battle in the semifinals. We will find out the SmackDown side of things this Friday night on the Blue Brand. Cannot wait to get to the 18th in Philadelphia. And what about these other matches signed for King of the Ring? The World Tag Team titles are on the line. Mustafa Ali and Ricochet from SmackDown battle Monday Night Raw's Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day. Another interpromotional matchup signed we've discussed earlier tonight. Liv Morgan, Monday Night Raw's women's champion, will battle the number one contender from SmackDown, the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Big time grudge match coming your way from the blue brand as well. It is the Extreme Lucha Rules Cruiserweight Championship. Santos Escobar, Rey Mysterio, two out of three falls. Falls can anywhere, anything goes in the land of Extreme. It is the SmackDown main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. The Rated R Superstar Edge wants another crack at the gold, but the Scottish Warrior not looking to be a stepping stone for anybody in his run as champion. And then Monday Night Raw's main event, Matt Riddle defending the WWE Championship against the prize fighter Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn may be in the corner of Owens for now, but that may change next week on Raw as he battles John Cena with that opportunity on the line. It is the biggest week in Universe Mode history, and it all kicks off seven nights from tonight. Raw Homecoming, Super Smackdown, and King of the Ring, all live premiere events at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and become a channel member today by hitting the join button. And don't miss out on the WWE live event from Hammerstein Ballroom, Saturday night, June 17th. Can't wait to get the next week. Well, it has been a great night of action here in the MVP Arena in Albany, New York. But it is main event time here on Monday Night Raw. The Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross. Not afraid to get his hands dirty as of late. As we will take a look in moments what set the stage for his matchup seven nights from tonight at Raw Homecoming against the almighty Bobby Lashley. The intimidating presence of Karrion Cross, And he made that presence felt recently here on Raw when he ambushed the almighty Bobby Lashley in the backstage area. And as you will see in moments, sent him off the ledge and through the wood of a table down to the concrete. This of course stemming after last WWE live event where Bobby Lashley issued an open challenge, or I should say accepted an open challenge from Karrion Cross and defeated Karrion Cross inside of the middle of the ring. Gonna have to become a channel member and catch the replay of that WWE Live event to see exactly what we're discussing, but that is what really set Karrion Cross over the edge. And not necessarily prohibited his attack against Bobby Lashley, but in his mind, certainly what catalysted it. 
Nonetheless, we will get Bobby Lashley one-on-one -on -one with Karrion Cross seven nights from tonight in Madison Square Garden, New York City. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time next Monday for Raw Homecoming. And as for tonight in Albany, Karrion Cross, the harbinger of doom, looking to make some noise here on the red brand and not only build momentum towards his matchup with Bobby Lashley, but possibly put himself in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity against the man he is battling tonight, the WWE Champion, Matt Riddle. High stakes main event between two of Monday Night Raw's best, and with Matt Riddle and a WWE Championship match approaching a King of the Ring for him, certainly does not want to risk injury against Karrion Cross here this evening. At the end of the day, we will see how this main event plays out between two of Monday Night Raw's All-Stars. And here comes the original bro, the WWE Champion, and the man who puts the gold on the line at King of the Ring against the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Matt Riddle, ready for another fight here in Albany. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, the WWE Champion, the original bro, Matt Riddle. It certainly has not been an easy road for Matt Riddle ever since winning that WWE Championship at WrestleMania. He went through Randy Orton inside Hell in a Cell in April at Backlash. Last month at Vengeance, Riddle squared off with the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And all the while, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have continued to be a thorn in the side of the original bro. Kevin Owens went one-on-one -on -one with John Cena a few weeks back and with the help of Sami Zayn, he declared himself the number one contender for King of the Ring at Matt Riddle. And as Riddle hot out of the gate, taking out Karrion Cross, we gotta remind you again that next week on Raw, and it'll be a big time steel cage grudge match between John Cena and Sami Zayn. And if John Cena can defeat Sami inside of the ring, then Sami Zayn will be barred from ringside for the Kevin Owens Matt Riddle affair in Philadelphia in less than two weeks. High stakes in your Raw homecoming main event next week. Rage in the cage between Cena and Zayn, but right now Karrion Cross putting the hurt on the WWE Champion, and there's Riddle delivering an A. These two men, like two cannons shot out of hell, throwing haymakers, throwing knees at each other. Both men looking for victory tonight with big time matches approaching. Matt Riddle not looking to take a loss in the lead lead up to his WWE Championship defense at King of the Ring, and certainly not to a man like Karrion Cross, who you know if Cross can get through Riddle tonight, he is gonna be hot on the heels of whoever leaves Philadelphia as the WWE Champion. Of course, on the other end of things, Karrion Cross not looking to take another loss. And a matchup where it's really a rematch from a loss against Bobby Lashley coming up next week. Arian Cross, I'm sure in his mind, needs all the momentum he can get. Whipping off Riddle and sending him over the top rope in the Harbinger of Doom. Gonna take his time with the WWE Champion tonight in Albany. And Cross trying to make his way, and referees just trying to regain some order in this matchup as these guys have been all over each other since the opening bell. And there's some of that jujitsu out of the strong style, if you will, of Karrion Cross. Matt Riddle's trying to get back into the ring and trying to get back into this thing, but the Harbinger of Doom all over the WWE Champion right now. It is about making an impact, and Karrion Cross in the ring with the WWE Champion sees opportunity to do just that. To a Monday Night Raw's best, battling it out here in the MVP Arena, Albany, New York. Monday Night Raw, just seven nights away from our biggest week in Universe Mode history. Riddle trying to get back into this nice forearm there on Cross, send them into the ropes. And another counter by Cross with a forearm of his own. And Karrion Cross is no easy man to keep down. That speaks volumes of the battle he had with Bobby Lashley back at WWE Live on the eve of Vengeance last month. And Lashley was able to tap out Karrion Cross to the hurt lock. 
At the end of the day, Karrion Cross, if you saw that matchup, really put the damage on Lashley throughout it. It was not an easy victory for the Almighty, as this will not be an easy victory for Matt Riddle if he can get through Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross sees things a little bit differently. Putting Riddle on the top rope, not looking to smell another loss anytime soon, and just ragdolls the WWE Champion. And Cross really wrestling his style of matchup right now. A little bit slower paced. Just really strong style throwing his opponent around the ring. This is what Cross likes to do. Pick apart his opponents and have his way with the man standing opposed to him inside of that ring. The WWE Champion Matt Riddle trying to get back into this matchup. We have seen Riddle fight through hell and back over the last couple of months alone. And Karrion Cross not liking that Riddle showing signs of life in this matchup, but he better stay focused and he better recognize who he is in there with. The WWE Champion and Karrion Cross ragdolls Riddle right in the barricade. Matt Riddle may have gone through hell in the cell and Randy Orton and Brock Lesnar, but Karrion Cross is a different animal and he is finding that out firsthand in your main event. Riddle a little bit slower to get back in the ring and Karrion Cross lying in wait of his prey. Now bringing Riddle back into the corner and continuing the beatdown on the WWE Champion. If this continues, not only is Karrion Cross going to pick up a big time victory, but Matt Riddle is not going to be 100%. He's got to get back into this matchup and he's got to get back into it now. Nice overhead throw to take down Cross at least momentarily. Riddle goes for a shot, Karrion Cross counters and slams down the original bro again. Matt Riddle cannot get back into this matchup. Karrion Cross is all over the WWE Champion right now. No matter what Riddle tries to throw, Karrion Cross has just been right there to change the question to Riddle's answer. Look at this, this is just a beatdown by Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross is having his way with the WWE Champion tonight. He is feasting on his opponent inside of that squared circle. This is certainly going to be a message to Bobby Lashley for their rematch next week at Raw Homecoming. Karrion Cross just ragged on Matt Riddle right over the top rope and down to the floor here. The MVP arena. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Bobby Lashley. I, I believe he just jumped the barricade. Lashley's in the ring and he's going after Karrion Cross. These two men who will battle next week on Raw, but Lashley does not want to wait. Karrion Cross put him through that table, sent him into the concrete, and Lashley has not forgotten. Well, this main event matchup is going up in smoke as Bobby Lashley has hit the ring and he is having his way with Karrion Cross. The oh, Harvinger of Doom never saw it coming. Lashley is hell bent on retribution right now. Oh my, a German suplex on the outside. Bobby Lashley has come unglued. Lashley's headed out into the WWE Universe, I believe where he came from, and Karrion Cross is in pursuit, but Lashley is still throwing strikes. Things are breaking down ahead of Raw Homecoming next week at the Garden. These two men will fight from bell to bell seven nights from tonight. But tonight, the fight has come unglued. Karrion Cross and Lashley are brawling away in the WWE Universe right now, and Lashley may be eyeing up one of those workers' tables. We've got to get some help in the WWE Universe, but I don't think anybody wants to come between the Almighty and Karrion Cross through the table. Bobby Lashley is fired up. My goodness. Message sent to Karrion Cross ahead of Monday Night Raw next week. Oh, wait a minute. Now what the hell? Kevin Owens is, is attacking Matt Riddle, his King of the Ring opponent. Matt Riddle was still at ringside. Karrion Cross threw him out there when Lashley struck. And now Kevin Owens sees an opportunity and all hell is breaking loose here on Monday Night Raw. 
Well, Kevin Owens will get real from bell to bell on the 18th in Philadelphia at King of the Ring when the WWE title's on the line. But Kevin Owens sees an opportunity to weaken the original bro ahead of that main event matchup. We have got to restore the order here in Albany. And Riddle trying to fight back against the prize fighter. Riddle throwing some strikes. Kevin Owens. Oh, wait a minute here. A little close to the edge of that stage. Oh, no. Kevin Owens throwing Matt Riddle right out of the floor. Nearly a, what is that, a 10-foot drop? Matt Riddle taking the fall. And Kevin Owens crushes him. The prize fighter not letting the WWE Champion walk out of the MVP arena tonight. We need to restore the order. Seven nights from tonight, the biggest week in universe mode history kicks off live from Madison Square Garden in New York City for Monday Night Raw Homecoming. We will see you next week, everybody. When I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rider.